Well, this week, conservative pushback drove Missouri's health director, director out of a job. Despite Department of Health and Senior Services Director Don Karoff's opposition to abortion and even vaccine mandates, the Republican-led Senate declined to confirm him. This after protesters at the Capitol opposed masks and vaccines, decried his leadership as medical tyranny. Instead of being forced out, Karoff resigned. And Governor Mike Parson voiced his frustrations over the politics of Karoff's departure. He calls it, quote, disgraceful and an embarrassment. But that's exactly how some critics are describing another comment Parson made about his choice for health director. Here's Abby Larica. Don Karoff is not Missouri's health director anymore. But according to Governor Mike Parson, who appointed him, he is opposed to vaccine and mask mandates and abortion and qualified to lead the Department of Health and Senior Services. That's despite the political pushback that cost Karoff the job. Parson tweeted he, quote, would not have nominated someone who does not share the same Christian values, which hasn't landed well with critics and many non-Christian Missourians. Governor Parson said the quiet part out loud this week. Rabbi Daniel Bogard says he he and others have filed civil rights complaints with the Justice Department. It's incredibly insulting and scary as a religious minority in the state of Missouri. Governor Parson's administration is not of, by, and for anyone but white Christians. Adam Schwadron, a Republican state rep for St. Charles, who is Jewish, tweeted his concerns about the comments and the Constitution. Professor Anders Walker with SLU Law. We're talking about the Sixth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution, which says that you can't have a religious test as a requirement for a government position. Do you think the governor's tweet may fly in the face of that? An oath uh, requiring employees to attend a service or to actually uh, on their application state their faith, that's what will get you into court. Not an offhanded comment. That's not a violation of the Sixth Amendment. A spokesperson for the governor's office said in a statement in part that he has never required a religious test for government jobs. And the governor's comments were just pointing out shared values. Jamila Nasheed, a former Democrat state senator who Parson appointed to the state probation and parole board, tweeted she doesn't believe the governor would, quote, make someone's faith a litmus test. Nasheed is Muslim. I hope the governor, first of all, looks for a health director who's deeply qualified. And I hope the governor will also look for diverse perspectives because we know that when people understand the health needs of minority communities, they serve everyone better. Abby Larico, Five on Your Side.